Hello and welcome to Ross Learn Eats, where today we'll be making a five minute flatbread which involves no kneading whatsoever. Yes, you heard me right. We have nothing to do, it's very simple, and we're just going to be using our sourdough discard for it. So if you're a bit like me, you have your sourdough discard and you tend to forget to feed it every once in a while, which is perfectly fine. I think I put this one about three days ago and it's kind of formed this runny consistency, but it's still got all the bubbles that says that it's very much alive. Now this makes it absolutely perfect for making flatbread because basically all you have to do is just pour it straight into the pan. Pretty much as much as you want depending how big the pan is. It's got all these wonderful bubbles and today all I'm going to do to flavour it is just use half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon onion powder and herbs if you want a teaspoon or so and just basically just pour it over. I like to keep the heat low at the beginning just to give me time before the surface dries off. Oh, of course, you know, a good sprinkling of salt will help, some pepper as well. And then yeah, pretty much you just leave it to do its thing. If you are feeding your starter every single day, then you'll find that the consistency of the starter is a lot thicker. So what I like to do when I have the starter is very active. When I pour it to the pan, I get a lid, put the lid on top, and in effect this creates steam which gives it a nice fluffy texture inside but if it's runny it will tend to stay flat so again just pour it in leave it alone for five minutes after a couple of minutes give it a flip so to go with my flatbread today i'm just going to make a very simple salad just using some fresh tomatoes mozzarella red onion and some fresh basil a very simple dressing of some olive oil some balsamic vinegar crackle of salt crackle of pepper and we're good to go When you see steam coming off of the flatbed, that's pretty much it telling you that it's ready for a nice flip over. And you can see here, if I take it off quickly, it's got these nice, wonderful scorch marks, which will really add to, you know, the crispness and that kind of hard, delicious, wonderful taste. And pretty much that's it. I'm just gonna have this for my salad for a very quick and easy, healthy lunch. And while I'm busy snacking away, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Ah, you caught me trying to get more of our secret ingredient. And what's that? Well, garlic. You know, we love to use lots of it in our recipes. Why is that? You a vampire hunter? Um, no comment. But while you're there, why don't you smash that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.